Hi guys, welcome to Doggypedia. Please click on the subscription button and notification bell so you don't get to miss out on our next video. The American Bully is fairly a new breed. Its genetic makeup is from the crossing of the American Pitbull, various Bulldogs and American Staffordshire Terrier. There is speculation, however, that other massive dogs were used for size and bigger bones. The American Bully was first recognized in 2004 by the American Bully Kennel Club and then the United Kennel Club in 2013. The American Bully is built for substance and bred to be a family companion dog. The energetic and tenacious pitbull traits have been bred out of its character. Despite its muscular and fierce appearance, it has a perfect balance of calmness and power. It's a gentle breed, exuberating with confidence and zest for life. Eager to please, the American Bully is an excellent family companion and great with children. They are not hostile or territorial to strangers and other animals. The American Bully comes in four types and these are distinguished by size. The standard size, pocket size, classic size, XL size, standing for extra large. The micro and double XL size are not recognized by the ABKC. Standard American Bully males are 17 inches to 20 inches at the withers. Females are 16 inches to 19 inches at the withers. The pocket American Bully is determined by its adult height. Males are under 17 inches and no less than 14 inches at the withers. Females are under 16 inches and no less than 13 inches at the withers. XL Bully male is over 20 inches to 23 inches at the withers. Females are over 19 inches to 22 inches at the withers. The classic bully is determined by its body structure and build. Both sex dogs with lighter body frames and less overall body mass but still exhibiting bully traits. Example of bully traits. Blocky heavy heads, short square muzzles, heavier bone, muscle and compact body. Overall more bone and substance than the modern and more terrier type American Pit Bull Terrier and American Staffordshire Terrier. Classic bullies are to give the appearance of bullier old style American Pit Bull Terrier and American Staffordshire Terrier, which make up the origin of the American Bully. Classic Bully variety is simply an American Bully dog having lighter body frames, lighter bones, and less overall body mass less substance than the standard American Bully. Aside from this difference, the classic Bully variety follows the same standard as the standard American Bully. Male, 17 inches to 20 inches at the withers. Females, 16 inches to 19 inches at the withers. Although there is no particular weight for the breed, dogs should not be unhealthy. They should be healthy and should not reach the point where it's considered obese. If you are planning on buying an American Bully, it will cost you quite a bit. Purebred American Bullies range from $2,000 to $100,000. Some of the best bloodlines to look out for in your pedigree that are new and old are Razor's Edge, Gotti Line, Corrupt, Ace Line, Remy Line, Mike Land, Royal, Gatorheads, Camelot, and Muscle Tone. There's plenty more bloodlines that are just as good that I have not mentioned because the list is way too long. Now when looking for an American Bully puppy, make sure you are not buying a puppy from a breeder who is chasing extremes and money before health. There are three important examinations you need to do so you get your money's worth. First is making sure you see the actual parents of your puppy to review their temperament, mobility, and overall health. Ask the breeder to send you pedigree papers of the dame and sire. Make sure you do your research on the lifespan and character of the dogs on the pedigree. Inspect the dogs for easty, wasty feet, high rear, underbite, overbite, weak back, breathing problems, incorrect tail, and different eye colors. Secondly, Make sure you see the whole litter to examine if the structure and look is consistent. Watch out for the same faults 
you are looking for in a parent, in a whole litter, and puppy you are interested in. By eight weeks, all puppies should be vaccinated and dewormed. The last point of examination is engage with the puppy you are interested in. Look for confidence and character. Avoid puppies that are too aggressive, timid, and panicky. Go for a puppy that is healthy, playful, and full of life. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video.